do you think it's important to differentiate between the male and female uh, gender when it comes to sports? I mean, we are physically made differently, obviously. Right, and with those differences come different stress on the joints. Uh, there's differences on the hormone aspect uh, affecting those joints and tissues and the ligaments. Uh, and, and those smaller differences can increase the risk for females to be, uh, to incur some injury uh, with sports participation. So, you know, we want to be able to address those uh, so that we can uh, teach proper mechanics, proper form within the uh, different sports, and hopefully prevent as many injuries as possible. One of the big issues that is different, and I'm not sure if our viewers have heard of this, but it's called the Q angle. I know we're mm -hmm. going to talk a little bit more about that when we discuss uh, knee injuries, but what is the Q angle? And here we mm -hmm. have an example. Why don't you walk us through this? So what we're looking at is a combination of the lower extremities, or sorry, a comparison of the male and female lower extremities. Women have a wider hips for obvious reasons. Uh, for uh, birthing children and with that you see the proximal part of the thigh bone is at a, a wider angle relative to the distal part of the thigh at the knee where it's more towards the body's midline so that uh, the Q angle is the line from the pelvis the anterior superior iliac spine down to the uh, tibial tuberosity and basically that wider angle puts more of a valgus stress on the knee uh, that valgus stress puts more uh, stress on the tissues, namely, we'll, like we'll speak about the, the ACL, uh, and, and puts you at increased risk of uh, an injury. So first tell me what a valgus stress is, and then I'm going to follow up my question with the fact that since we have these differences, then women's impact can be a little bit uh, more aggressive, if you will, if they have an injury? Yeah, uh, and so the valgus stress is basically that um, stress where the, the thigh is... Uh, the femur coming in laterally, you have the stress on the knee, mm -hmm. uh, where we have the knees almost are a knock knee, and then we have the tibia uh, down to the ankle kind of leaves the midpoint. Uh, so when you have that knock knee stress, you don't really support the body weight through the midline. It can be a little medial. That puts a little more stress, as we see here on, on, the, on the image, on the ACL and puts a little more tension on there. There's also a valgus stress where it's a contact injury where you receive a lateral blow to the knee, which further uh, uh, propagates this uh, valgus knee, this knock knee injury, puts more stress on the knee and can lead to a soft tissue injury.